Welcome to Lester Fan TV. Are you ready for the show? Thanks to our sponsors, ADT Taxis, Everards, Pucka Pies, Pink Car Leasing, Lester Riders, Hologram, The Fox's Arms, Peter's Pizzeria, Hope Against Cancer, and Newbie and Co Estate Agents. We want your views, we want your comments, so join us live. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good evening. Welcome to Leicester Fan TV. Tom here for another watch along the first one of the uh, season for me. Uh, pre season friendly against Hull City. Not most glamorous of ties, but someone has to play Hull, I suppose. Let's get really in. Let's have some fun tonight. Let's have a chat about the season ahead. Oh, he's on the drinking already. Breathing. Already, mate. Already. Might as well. <laughs> already. Let's get to loading. Hayden, hi. Good evening, lads. Evening. Like I say, it's a bit of fun tonight. Let's watch Leicester versus Hull versus Leicester. Have a chat about the season ahead. Hope well. I was going to say talk about some uh, transfers, but that don't seem to be happening anytime <laughs> soon. Uh, that's uh, stumped us for something to talk about this evening. Let's talk about transfers. Oh, we haven't got none of them at Leicester. We don't do transfers. Uh, where do we start, really? I'm not disappointed, though, because we haven't lost any players. Uh, question for you, though. A lot of hate towards Yuri Tillemans on Twitter over the oh, last 24, 48 hours. And drop it in, and guys, what's your thoughts? You know, we want to know your views on this. Um, where do you sit with Yuri Tillemans? To be, to read some of the stuff I've seen in the last 24, 48 hours about dropping to the reserves. You know, he doesn't deserve to play for the club again. It's not good enough, this, that and the other. Well... Why is it the football club? I'm sorry, he's still one of the best players we've got. And if he he's fit and start, then he starts every game. Oh, um, it, it's, it's, a hard, it's a very hard one because, again, like I say, there's been so much attraction from the likes of United and Arsenal wanting him. And, and now that's kind of completely short, he's going to have to play. He's, he's going to have to play because he's not going to just sit on the bench all year, is he? So... And he is still probably one of our better midfielders. I just hope now he's kind of focusing back on Leicester in training and pre-season. Hopefully, he might, he might, he might. Like I say last season, he wasn't the best at all, was it? Yes, he did a few good performances and whatnot, but realistically, it weren't the best season for him, I guess. And hopefully, coming into next season, this is one. This is the season where now he can perform and show, and then maybe get that move he wants to next season after he's after he's performed well. So I mean, there's there's the team tonight. Everson in goal, Casania signed you, Vestergaard and Martin Thomas at back five. Mendy and Tillemans in the central partnership role. Pratt, Daka and Perez along with the three or Dak, you know, Pratt behind them too. What do you make of the lineup, mate? Is it again more match fitness? As I always said, pre-season for me is always about match fitness. So I'll never look at results. You know, going in, as long as we're creating chances, scoring goals. I'm more than happy. I'd like to keep a, a clean sheet here and there, but at the weekend we saw the difference between a team who were one week away from their season started in Belgium. You know, their season starts on Saturday. There yeah, was a massive yeah. difference in fitness levels and where the, the you know their passing was more sharper, more crisp. You looked at Leicester and it was the players who come back. You know, your likes of Tillemans have only been back a week. Vardy, you know, they're getting used to the pace again for me. So. You start to get a flavour probably tonight going in towards the game. The big game for me is the Seville game. You know where we're at going into that game. And if it's not sharp then, then questions probably have to be asked. 12 months ago, we, we played uh, Villarreal, I think it was. Uh, was it Villarreal? Yes, what, the Fafana injured one. Yeah, yeah the Fafana broke his leg. And we all thought before that game, oh, wow, Leicester are flying here. And it didn't turn out to be what we thought it was going to be. So can't get too carried away with pre-season for me but it'll be an interesting night as the plays should be out in a minute yeah be interesting game. as you were saying with the obviously the team news realistically look at the whole team um that's been put on the paper there realistically most of them 
other than maybe Tillemans, are like the second side team that would you probably see come on off the bench in most in most Premier League games. Yes, a few that maybe would start, maybe Perez would start in the first eleven in the Premier League. But again, most of these that start tonight, in the, I'm guessing in the first half, I'm guessing we're making a complete switch or even six or seven swaps yeah, I, throughout the game. I, I think you'll see 45 minutes for those teams today. Then I think you'll see it step up again at the weekend. As I said, I think you'll see it a more. I think that well, I'm going pressing away on Saturday, and I think you'll see more of the first team of pressing. They've already said. A couple of questions in here. Uh, I think this one's definitely for you. Uh, really, are you happy with the Forest signings? Well, they're making enough, they're making more than we are, aren't we? So, yeah, uh, at Patrick least you'd be says, interested. Uh, Brentford after Vestergaard. Strange one, considering all summer they've talked about Vestergaard was uh, the one that they would get rid of quite quickly and uh, that uh, it hadn't worked out as much as uh, Leicester players come out. And fair play, by the way, mentioned to the 800 Leicester fans who had travelled up there tonight or from around the area. I know Ross is in the crowd somewhere. Fair play to them, you know, 800 of them up there tonight. Fair play on a Wednesday night, a week night after sweltering conditions for the last two nights and probably haven't slept great to get up there. Fair, fair play to the night. Uh, it's a run out. It is a run out. It's getting yourself fit. For me, I always look at now, now going into these games is about fitness, about getting the passing and the crispness and moving that ball around quicker because it was something that wasn't great. Subs for Leicester tonight, by the way. Uh, Justin Fafana, Evans, Barnes, Vardy and Madison. That is the only subs plus a goalkeeper. Jakob Slavzik. I can't even pronounce his name. Say, he's not I, I, I didn't even realise that there's not, yeah, been, not just, many people on the bench. Uh, Madison, Vardy, Barnes, Johnny Evans, Fafana, Justin. So that says it all to me that like, it's probably Ricardo. He's played two. Yeah, he's played quite a lot against Not County. He played a lot of the weekend. They're going to give him a rest. Probably have a big game at Preston at the weekend, give him more time. Uh, obviously, I think Derby's the second string team they're talking about. So I'd, I presume that uh, Casper will start against Preston at the weekend. That'll be his uh, first game of the pre season for me. And I presume that Daniel Everson will probably play against Derby. What's well, a shame, really, because seeing that Preston was his, uh, on loan at Preston last season, and he probably would have liked to have gone back there and given them a crowd a clap. But <coughs> Brendan Church's watches, and we are kicking off. Leicester will kick go. from Leicester. No. Where's the frame? There's the frame. There we go. Top right hand corner. This is all Reedy's work, by the way. <laughs> uh, I give it due. So Leicester will kick from uh, left to right, attacking the Hall fans. Daniel Everson has the Leicester Sea fans behind his goal. The 800 Hartley fellows and ladies have gone up there and lasses. Fair play to him. Uh, I don't, I'm, a question for you, Reedy. Really. Obviously, you've been Leicester Games. You've been down many years. Uh, last night on BBC Radio on Leicester on Monday night, uh, Owen Park and Atkins did a, an interesting chat with the uh, Union FS. Uh, Leicester in behind it. Dan Sanyu into the box, pulls it across. Oh, it gets cleared. Good play by Leicester. Lovely switch to start off. Manny wins the ball back. Leicester started off quickly. Dennis Pratt gets a free kick to Leicester. Yeah, did a big piece on the Union F boys about their history. Coming up to 12 years, I think it is, since they started their... Uh, 10 years? 12 years? Since they started doing their work with the club and trying to get the atmosphere. Obviously, this season is a massive season because they finally got the uh, singing section they wanted in SK1. Yeah. Question as well. What do you make of them? What do you make of what they've done? And uh, are, you, are you happy that the club has finally given it, given the opportunity to, them to get a, a, a single section ball whipped in, headed away by Hull City? We're in not a traditional kit tonight. Leicester want to believe. So Andrew with a turn, right hand channel, pulls it back. Go on. Chipped in by uh, Dennis Pratt, but was it a great ball? Pratt won it back. Dacker plays it backwards. Lovely play, Dacker. On his chest, sent finds Tillemans. Side to oh, skips past the man down the wing, cross it in towards the back post, and it'll fly out for a goal kick. So, yeah, about the <coughs> singing section, it's it's just thing that I'm glad that Leicester finally, like, put into place. But, again, it's, what did the Union FS, like, guys do to begin with? Did, did they do it to make it look like a 
the singing section in for their area, if you know what I mean. I'm, I want to, I'm not too clued up on that, their group, but is that what they're kind of trying to enforce themselves instead of getting the club to put a singing section in? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the UNIF boys were formed before this, I think it was just after the season with, against Forest. So uh, we'd, we'd beat Forest in the playoffs on the last day of the season, got to the uh, Watford game, and obviously lost to Watford and I was mm. there behind the goal. We already talk about Kanaka and all that. And uh, the following season, obviously, they, they got going. Uh, yeah. They were all about getting the atmosphere in the ground going because it had gone flat over the last few years. Obviously, the, the heart ate a loon to Cardiff, the heart ate a loon to Watford. They wanted to try and give the players a lift. They wanted to create a better atmosphere. Obviously, they got that in the, the, that season of uh, going up and then winning the Premier League and then, you know, the run to the uh, quarterfinals of the Champions League. Obviously, I think the state went a bit flat for me after that. I think expectations were, well, we'll just rock up every year and we'll be always in the Champions League. And sadly, I think it probably had a negative effect on some of the players, you know, and the way we played and some of the managers. It, there was no think at home games to get you going. Obviously, they still kept trying and they kept pushing everything. And then over the last three years, they've got these trial games. I think it started off with uh, Wigan in a cup. Uh, then you had Brighton and Watford. And then obviously they put this survey out. Ball whipped into the box. Again, it'll be a corner kick to Leicester. Good start by Leicester here, by the way. Three minutes in. Uh, and they basically asked the club to do a survey. And the club put one out there. And it was 9% quick tackling, whipped in towards the back post by Thomas. Head over, back into the box. To the area, falls to Pratt, takes a touch, goes down, no free kick, giving there a good challenge. We do Ooh, seem very kick. competitive tonight. I don't know, like it just seems very that press again. Great press by uh, Iosi Perez there. They are really pressing. Uh, they, but yeah, so basically, you know, putting this thing, and then obviously there was a, a big thing sent around to all the senior ticket holders and stuff to see what they thought was, and it was 90% agreed that they needed a single so Big challenge by Sainchu. Oh, it just couldn't get on to the end of it by Dak because he has, he gets away. Full City playing dangerous here, trying to play out from the back with Leicester with a press tonight. Uh, question here. We still got Pratt. That's good. It is good, and I'd like to Pratt stay and giving his chance, but I generally don't think Rogers sees him in his plan for some reason. What's a strange one? Because he brought him in. He was a Brendan Rogers signing. I think the one thing for me with Pratt is when he brought him in, I think it was more of the... I don't know if it's, it's not obviously just this reason, but obviously because we've got two Belgians already in Castagna and Tillemans, maybe it's kind of he's trying to bit form a bit of like that Belgian kind of link that they played recently in in the international stuff. So maybe that's maybe one reason why. I mean, again, I don't think he's obviously as good as someone like Tillemans, but he's still a good squad a squad player for me. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, like I said, Tillemans for me starts every time. There's if he's fit and he's ready to go, and a fire in Tillemans is, well, it's not not non-playable. I think last season, certain games he went missing. I don't think his head was in it in certain games as well. And we all agree he did have the greatest season. Uh, and obviously now we're in another situation where he's only got a year left. But I'd rather he leave next year on a free, and has the season of all seasons trying to push for a move to a big club next year yeah. on a free transfer, and we lose him for nothing. But we get European football out of it. But it could be the thing that we get European football and Tillman thinks halfway through the year, do you know what? We're going to make the top four. We're going to make the top six again. I'll stay. I'm not had any offers. I'm going to stay and <coughs> commit to Leicester. But at the moment, it's a strange one because there's rumours that he's talking about signing a new contract and staying. There's rumours he won't. Uh, you know, that's the whole thing. I think this summer was rolled around that Tillman would leave early and Leicester then would have 50 million. 40 million odd in the kitty to sign players. Leicester really all playing that quick. All down the wing. Cassania down to the byline. Does a Cruyff turn. Keeps it in. Well played, Cassania. Wouldn't expect anything less from the Belgium at the moment. Back end of the season was flying. This beginning of this campaign for me was... Mandy loses the ball. Free kit will give him to Hull City. It's a, it's a strange one. He's another one. He's only got a year left. You know, He's not getting slated. But I, if I was... Mendy won't be signing a new contract because he knows he's not going to play regular first team football for Leicester. Uh, you know, he wants Wills back. Hopefully, Wolf isn't long term because I'm sure I've seen him training. Yeah, I saw him training with uh, Kel. Like, I think he had a photo of them together. I'm not too sure if that was before or after, but he seems quite 
happy yeah, about I'm what we're we winning. It's uh, nil, mate. Nil, nil. Top of the screen. The bars up there. We've got them all set up for all, all events. <laughs> <laughs> I hope really has. Oh, dear. Well, let's just say unless it gets to like ten nil, I'm not too sure. <laughs> <laughs> Full playing out of the bat. It's interesting to see so, all that away. What's your down. what's your thoughts on the, the the formation? Because obviously, like I said, we're playing three at the back and no more. So it's flash five at the back. But what do you reckon Leicester's kind of preferred formation is? Because when not last season, but the season at the end of the season before that, we played with Kalechi and Vardy up front, and it kind of really worked. But that was because Barnes wasn't fit. So obviously then we went back to the four three three kind of style last season. And he's Rogers has got two ways of playing for me, and it's either a four two three one, what he likes to play. That is his preferred option. He likes to play with one up front, two attacking wingers, lovely ball up the line. Pratt keeps it in. Great play, Dennis Pratt. And he's an option, gets an option. Here comes Luke Thomas. Looks a little one two back to Pratt, back to Thomas. Let's all go backwards here, but Keep the balls. What they're going to do is pre-season work the teams. Yeah, he's got two. He likes two options really. I mean, he, Rogers. He likes his uh, fourth. Four three three wasn't something that I think he likes to play, but it's something that he found uh, a solution that worked that he could get Madison and Tillemans in the same team without you know losing the the, the, the wingers uh, with Madison playing on the right. But really, wasn't real right wing. He was drifting in and out of everywhere really, playing where he wants to play. Uh, he's obviously his preferred one is the four-two-three-one, and that's Vardy up front on his own. But with Barnes uh, and whoever plays on the right, Lutman or Perez, basically running in behind, making those late runs, getting into the box, filling the gaps, uh, and then having Madison in the middle of the park, linking the play up between him and Tillemans, and then did he doing doing the dog work? Uh, as we saw last year, Mendy came in and did that dog work, and for me, Mendy was. You know, flying towards the end of the season, he offers a different kind of player. Another ball of the line. Tillman comes over, not going to get there. But it, it, he offers something different to him. And did it? We know one did it. He's got big, long legs. He'll win the ball. He will then pass it to Tillman. He hasn't got the long range of passing on him. Well, I think we've seen at times. Mendy has got there again. Mendy with the vision again. Ball round the back, back into the box. Shoots left footed, cross goal and wide. Good play by Leicester, well played by Mendy. Linked the ball at well, won the ball back, and first literally turned and knocked it straight into Tillemans. Tillemans then lays it into Dakar, I think it was. Oh, Perez into Dakar, sadly, it was. And uh, yeah, Dakar with a left foot shot. Good to see Dakar getting in there. Again, this is what I said before. I'd be concerned if Dakar wasn't making the runs or wasn't getting these situations. The goals have come for Dakar. I generally mm -hmm. feel there's a player there. I know Phil's very um and ah him. I'm very much Dakar. I like him. I just think you've got to give a lad time. I say with Samari, I think there's another player. Dakar wins the ball, but Rogers even said Dakar is the best press that we've got in the club. Best oh, yeah. Vardy. That says it all to me. He knows he can do it. That's why they went out and signed him because they need a presser. They need someone that Vardy does. I also think that Vardy won't probably start as many games as we think this year from the, you know, off. but then you've got Kalecci, who's a different type of player. He isn't a uh, pressing guy. He is a back to goal. He likes the ball into his feet and linking the play up. Probably that is that leaves no option going forward sometime because unless you get the overlap from your Lookman at the time or Barnes, like we saw for the Leeds goal, you're less very slow going into that you know, third quarter of the pitch. Yeah. So, yeah, when you play Vardy and Daka, you've got that option for that because you know if, if you do the one two, the, the pacing behind is there. Best of just keeping the ball, Daniel Amati. Another one who's been rumoured with a transfer linked away. I mean, look at this back line. Every single, every one of the back line tonight in that three <laughs> has been linked with a move. Uh, ball in, up forward. Falls to oh, Tillemans. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. I was about to say Tillemans with a shot. Uh, all I'll say was <laughs> ball played long up high. Daka wins the head in fairness. <coughs> it falls to Tillemans on the edge of the area. And it was more like a rugby league drop goal going through the post at the KCOM. I'm sure it still is the KCOM. So it is, I'm, yeah. And, uh, I went to the old ground, that's how my age now. Brenda, I went to the old ground. Their old ground had a quick, uh, quick step on the back of it. There we go. Unless the plane. 
And we won 4-2 and uh, Alan Rogers scored, Paul Dickoff in a thumping League Cup win. Beat Taylor with their manager. There you go, really. That's showing my age now. Yeah. Pete, Pete Taylor was their manager after leaving Leicester. Mickey Adams was our manager. It was the old season we won uh, the first old first division that got promoted. Like I say, I don't, I don't know why. The, the way we're playing tonight, we're already kind of... I want to say we're the better team, but we've had the more chances and... Yeah, I mean... We're very aggressive. Far. Really, the guy. Really, is the goat. <laughs> You got your own channel, really? No. Really, he's got his own channel. Look, Forest fan came up to me in Tesco today and said Leicester are the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really, he's got his own fan channel. I love it. <laughs> are you drinking whiskey there, by the way? No, I'm drinking Copperberg. It's like you're drinking whiskey out of that tumbler glass. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was saying, like, if you look at that back line, I think it's uh, so Marty's been linked with Fenerbahce, is it? Yes. Or, yeah. Besiktas, I think. Yeah, Besiktas, sorry. Beskar's been linked with Brentford today, and Science has been linked with Inter Milan. I mean, mm. no one's buying them, though. It's all links, sources. That's why I'm very careful on Twitter. As I found the other night, I said something, and then literally just got ripped into for the next four and a half hours. It was quite comical, because I do find it funny. Half of them are probably... 14, 15, got nothing better to do, and they yeah. start trolling you. Yeah, what I just laugh at, really. Good press oh, there. Good press again by Leicester. I've got to say, so far, we'll be 14, 15 minutes in now. And Leicester have really pressed hard, and Rogers is clapping them. What did we make of the training top, though, by the way? I like that. I like that. that. I like that one. black top, but Rogers has got on. I do like it. Rogers but tonight in shorts and t shirts. I have, I have already brought the, uh, the white one that's coming tomorrow. Oh, the yeah. white training top is a very nice I like, one. I like the training tops, mate. I actually like the kit, though, because I said that. Is it, is it grown on you now, really, the kit? Because I know at the beginning... Well, this one? Like, yeah, you didn't like the colour. Oh, yeah. I'm a bit like of a... It. Uh, it's the colour that, that I hate you say. From. The, the, I like the badge colours. I, like, I kind of like the, the actual... Just how plain it is. And I do normally like a bit of a pattern on it, like the last year, like you've got now. But, again, it's just a colour, but I don't really see it. So, as long as I the can't see it, I don't care. I would change is the badge. Because the badge to me is the badge, it's the club. Yeah. And our club has always been blue, white and yellow, basically, for the Fox. So that's the only thing I'd change on the whole kit because the badge shouldn't be touched, it shouldn't be changed. That's what our badge is. You know, I don't want to see it in gold. Uh -oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Muck up at the back and Hall now have a corner. Fair play, Vestigar won a header in a box. <laughs> Not said that before, or for a long time. I think the last time I said that was probably when we played... Ren and he came on for 10 minutes and yeah. defending for the line. Yeah, such a draw. Two chance. penalties. Yeah, there were penalties. <laughs> uh, yeah, Central tried a choice turn in the old uh, left back channel, completely mucked it up. And uh, I'm, just, I'm just reading that comment. My Leicester kit came to go. He thought that he would pick me. I'm, I'm dreading it. I'm dreading it. Me and Jamie are still the only two who are still waiting. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, shot comes in. Cross comes oh. shot. Ibsen comes out and punches. Wasn't very convincing, by the way, the punch. Uh, well, at least Casper. At, 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 at least Iverson does that. Unlike, unlike Casper. Casper won't do it. Going to come back punch that. <laughs> start on Casper. He's not even played a game yet. I, I, I can't slate Casper. I, I, I think there's another. Oh, I, I love him as well. He's just a little yeah, bit like coming out from set Yeah. Pieces. But there's other things to the set piece, mate. There's, I don't think we, as a team, were collected aggressive enough. We weren't committed enough to do it. Lovely play by Leicester at the back there between Mendy and Catania playing the way out. Really nice to see that at the back. Now we Leicester come down the left channel. Thomas, slight heavy touch, balling behind again. Dakar ain't getting on the end of this. We'll go back to the goalkeeper. At least he's pushing for it. Hull City are playing some lovely stuff out from the back themselves here. Again, the press was on, but they played through the press. But Leicester didn't overcommit this time, and they've got the men back quite quickly into shape. What do you reckon to the Vestigar situation anyway? Because I, I think he said to the press after the international game oh, that he wants to try and push his way back in, which I don't mind. No, I don't mind because I can see why the club signed him. 
the club signed him because he's a ball ball playing centre half. Is what Brendan what Brendan Rodgers wants. He wants someone who can play the ball from the back. Now, if you play from the back and you don't make mistakes, absolutely spot on, and he can do that. We've seen that with his vision. I think the Man United game when he came on, he was playing balls through the middle of Man United's team. But it's when we make a mistake, and because he's not got any pace in there, he's slower than a he's slower than the Titanic sinking. Uh, it, it, it just there's nothing there. There's no pace to get back. What means he's then exposed. And every time it looks like he's the one who makes a mistake. I hate Forrester. Well, this is a question we're going to because Jake and... Is it Jake or Sam? Me, uh, Sam and me, yeah. Sam and Reed are having a bit of a hefty debate on the old uh, <laughs> message earlier. Let's put it this way when I was at work. So, and I was trying to concentrate on because they're ping, 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 ping. Stats are popping up from Reedy. Jake's giving it back on the other stats. And I was like, oh, here we go. World War Three. Reedy's taken it that a £70 million player that Arsenal signed. Now, Arsenal only want £20 odd million. What's probably a snip price of the best things. Percy, I still don't think he's proven in the Premier League. And if he was that good, Arsenal wouldn't really want to sell him for like £20 million if they paid £70 million. I'd have rather pay 14 and go and get look them back. Different type of players because I think Pepe's probably got a bit more skill and he's got a lot more pace to burn. Probably hasn't got the end product. Probably a bit more like a, a slup. Got all the pace, all the trickery, but gets to the final bit and sometimes overcomplicates it. Uh, against the Luckman, who's probably knows the Premier League now enough. We've seen his goals and assists seven goals, seven assists, I think it was last season for that. It's not bad combined. 15 uh, in the Premier League. Uh, well, in Premier League and Cup competition, so I think he's got a couple in the Cup, didn't he, as well? Mm. Mill Mill has scored that. But what's your take on Pepe, Nicholas Pepe? I I said from the start with like from like fifteen to twenty million. Yes, you might not have, you might not be the most prolific in the Prem, or he's not shown enough in the Prem. But for twenty million, it's for me, it's like a Luckman situation where. Yes, you probably should have gone for Luckman if he's only 14 million, but now we can't get him, and Pepe is available for that sort of price. I just think. Ball into box, Tillemans go down, and referee's that's on. not going to be a penalty, no. He's not going to give a penalty in pre season, mate. You're, <laughs> you're, you're begging for it. I, I can understand. I'll give it to you. It's a lovely play by Leicester. They've worked it really well, but no, nah, you're not going to get anything there. The ball's going out of play. Tillemans runs over the ball. Normally, Tillemans it. is the one that gives the penalties away anyway. We did go. <laughs> yeah, it was a lovely play by Leicester. Kasanya pulled it back. Tillemans stepped over the ball and then le- leaved it to Perez. Perez then knocked it into the path of uh, Tillemans uh, and it was just getting away from him and he just felt the tug of the shirt and went down. You've seen them give him, but in pre-season... Not going to carry away. <laughs> Tillemans is still Tillemans is still not happy with the referee for not giving it. <laughs> Do you say that uh, Holler in their away shirt? I think that's the away shirt, yeah. Because normally they're playing orange, don't they? Orange and black. Just seems weird that we're playing in our home and they're playing in their way. Yet yeah, we're the away team. Oh, it's, oh yeah. wait, it's because we've not announced our away gear. No, I was going to say, Reed, really, that's probably ah. what, what the, the away kit that's been now uh, about four different shirts I've released. <laughs> <laughs> Four different rumours from black <laughs> to cream to checkered. I, I personally, yes. I just want to go back to what it used to be tradition as I grew up. Blue, white, yellow. Blue home, white for the uh, a, a away kit and then yellow for the uh, third kit. I used to love them colours. I do. I, 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 I am a big fan of how we're like passing-wise. We seem very confident on the passing tonight. Just for me, they're getting the ball great. And at times, we've, when we have moved it quickly, we've looked threatening. Just sometimes, yeah. like now, it's very slow. Like Vestigar there, three, four, five touches on the ball. You know, if you look at the better teams in the world, it's two touch. Get the ball out your feet, two touch. Tinnemans. That's a foul. Tinnemans dives in. Ball comes away to Hall. Hall break forward. No options. Number nine, edge of the area. Tinnemans still closing down. Fair play, Tilly. Made up for your mistake. <coughs> I 
Like I say, going back to like the formations that we were talking about then, really, when I was saying about that is, I think the players that we've got now, I think does suit us better for a three at the back, a three slash five at the back, because obviously the wing backs can go up more with someone like Ricardo and Justin, and then the attack, you've got someone like maybe Dak and Vardy or someone like that in the striker situation, but then you do lose that on the the width in the two wingers that you'd play. Well, yeah, that's the thing about it. It's like, well, no, mate. Ooh, what's that popped up? Brand new artist, I'm not bothered about that. <laughs> I'm multiplied all through. Great play again by Leicester. Really moving. That's better, Leicester. Moving it around. This is what I'd like to see. We seem confident on the ball. That's that's the thing that I like to see the most. Moving the ball, the best, the, definitely the better I've seen pre-seasons in gone by. I mean, last pre-season, you could tell there was something not right, and I've said it for a long time. There was something not right. I went to I went to Wigan, uh, Wigan, Wickham away first one of the season, and I just it, literally stood there watching, thinking, "Where's the team gone that was passing the ball around from the season before? We 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 we're awful. We can't move the ball here. This is nice. We're into the box and." Oh, corner. Had to get a touch on it. Corner to Leicester, 23 gone. Had to get the touch, by the way, because uh, Cassanio had come in round the back. Better play, though. Uh, Riri said, uh, good evening, evil lads. Uh, LCFC says the worst transfer. This is our worst window in history. Well, I won't say that is true. <laughs> I think the worst history would probably be Slomani, Musa. Uh, <laughs> they'd probably be the worst one. Ball whipped in. Right, I think it's just because we've not bought any oh, Free head up! Oh. Too far out. Anyway, any closer, I'm going to keep going. Exactly. Ball whipped in, headed away. Yeah, pretty much free goal, just too far away. Full break coming up the right hand side. So oh, Sancho flies in. That's going to be a free kick. Definitely fouled him. <laughs> Classic Sancho. So do you know anything? Do you know much about the? This kind of trophy we're kind of trying to go for today, mate. This is the first thing I knew about it was I put in the chat to you earlier. I just see online that apparently there was a, a trophy that we are playing for, and I was a bit like, "What? What are we playing for a trophy for?" <laughs> it's like the door. It's like the Burton Cup we have to play for. Oh, every, every mate, year. That, was, that was another one. <laughs> embarrassing. Uh, Neil says, "Evening, evening, Neil. Nice to have you on, mate. I think for fun he's had such an impact on the team. Devastating. Oh, it was. It was massive." I remember that night, me and uh, Locks, I think it was me and Locks, did the uh, watch long last year and uh, called it straight away. Said straight away he's broken his leg. And I, I remember thinking, this is massive. Considering that at the point Johnny Evans hadn't picked a ball, uh, yeah. <laughs> you were looking at that back line going, we are now short. Yeah. I, I I said that I, I was at the gate I was at the ground and the moment I I'm saw the only Forest fan that likes Leicester. Well, fair play, mate. <laughs> Someone left it. My um, I said to my dad, I went straight up and went. He was like, "Why are you so, like, why is that so devastating for you?" I'm like, "That is literally like a Van Dyke flip up. The moment that, oh, that mate, is yeah. him gone. That is him gone for the season, pretty much. Yes, he came back earlier than expected, but it just cost us so much." Right, free kick to Hall. 26 played. It's going to be a Ten shot. It's going wide of the place. Didn't even truly leave us in there. He set himself up. I'll give credit to him soon. Considering at the weekend, he well, he made a bit of a clangor for one of the goals. Come out, didn't get it. There's been a couple of those tonight. They've tried to get him behind. And in fairness, he's read it really well. He's come out early. He's got them. He's got the cross of that as well. You know, sometimes goalkeepers make a mistake. Vestergaard. Good feet there by Vestergaard. Go on, mate. Go on, Vestergaard. Best to play it around. Just, this is nice. 
better for Other than that pass, but... Well, there was two rush passion there. Let's to keep the ball. Go wide. Thomas will get it, but he's got no help. He'll have to get back there. But that's good footballing brain for me there. Not, I've got to go forward. I've got to go forward. Where can I go forward? There's nothing there. There was no play on that on the pitch. Daka was involved in the link up play on this side. Vestergaard with another lovely ball through the, the defence. That's like the part I like about Vestergaard. He can play. It's like I say, it's the other side of him, mate, that if we make a mistake in the wrong area, then... Again, well, and that, that's where, for me, maybe the three at the back does work better because then you've still got two kind of covering him in the middle if if he does kind of make a mistake. Would you play Johnny Evans with him and uh, Fafana? You wouldn't play these two with him, would you? I play Fafana, but just not <laughs> Evans with him. Yeah, maybe that's where they. That's maybe where they maybe take turns. I'm not every game, but like a bit more rotation on them two players, so they don't get that many games played and get injured so much. He says Vestigar looking for comfortable possession. Yeah, mate, yes, but I, I completely agree with that. Uh, Dan Fox says, do you think Pratt will stay? Uh, I don't, I because when he plays out. But... I think it all depends what club comes in on what situation. I think the club will want a permanent deal. Football. Flying oh. in. Falls to Mendy. Not got an option so far. Tillman comes forward. Now to uh, Cassania. The question is for me, like, who starts in the right back role at the beginning of the season? Because Cassani was flying. Uh, but we all know of a fully fit Ricardo is undroppable. Daka wins the ball back. One on one with his man. Takes a shot early. Goal for Leicester. Pats and Daka. Good finish. Pats and Daka. That's what we wanted to see from the boy this year. He made his mind <laughs> early. Right. That's what we both it. wanted. That's is his, that his first goal of the season? Uh, be his third goal pre-season. He scored against Notts County. Really? He scored oh, against sure. Lyle, and they scored tonight. Great play from Vestergaard. Uh, no, Dennis Pratt nicks the ball. Daka picks it up, runs at his man, 18 yards out, left-footed, bends it, pings good, it. Good finish, good finish. Great press by Dennis Pratt here, by the way. The pressure he put on his man, made a mistake. Daka nicks it, he nicks the ball. And it's a lovely left-footed finish. Bends it past the goalkeeper. Is he, is he left-footed or right-footed? I think uh, I think he's right, but that's a lovely left foot finish. Yeah. Knocks it one way, knocks it the other, bends it past the goalkeeper. Right. And where we go? Time is 29 minutes. It's Hull City nil, Leicester City one. <laughs> Good finish. I think it's deserved. Really? Why didn't you do a 1 0 to Leicester banner, by the way? I did. But 0 0, 3 0. <laughs> now it looks like it's 1 0 to Hull. <laughs> One second. <laughs> I thought it was there. I've got, I've got to say it, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good play by Leicester. Good press, good finish. Just what we wanted. Just want to see Daka scoring goals, and we've got that prep pressure paid off. Yeah, Masley, cracking finish. Won it back as well. There you go. Thanks, mate. <laughs> I like how you have to make that up really quickly. I do. You know, I already four of them were in there. That's fine. I think there's an. I think there's an. I think the two nil wasn't there either. So I'll add that quickly. Don't get carried away, really. Don't get carried away. Oh, I'll be two nil. My kick came today. My kick came today. Cracking finish. Awesome kick came, mate. Brilliant. I haven't got mine yet. Shirts for fatties for me. <laughs> hashtag, hashtag shirts for fatties. We're still waiting. They haven't got enough cloth to make mine and Jamie's yet. <laughs> uh, ball in behind, Daka gets on to the end of it, holds it with lovely play, slide him in, he does slide him in, Perez down the right wing, pulls it back. This is very nice football. Leicester really look sharp tonight, they really look in the mood, they want to make, you know. I'm glad, but I'm glad as well because this really... Like... 
Pratt. Pratt is about to stack on the right wing. But yeah, like I say, it's, it's what we needed, mate. The, the first two performers have been below par for me. I know we talked about how good the other opposition were and how close they are to the season, but still, I'd expect a little bit more sharpness from some of the lads. <coughs> I'm saying this is well. Most of these would be either a bench or a starting player. So, obviously, yes, there's still a academy players played the last few preseason matches. But going going further and further into preseason, you want your main players to be starting and getting the fitness in. And it's still keeping good. Cool. Oh yeah. Ball, awesome. ball down the left channel, played back, stepped in. All still have the ball to come forward. Leicester look like organised, you know. Played into box, edge of the area. There you go. Cassandra comes up, tidies it up here, win the ball back, takes a touch, and then goes inside and finds Vestergaard on the 18 yard box. Just looking so much sharper in the, where they need to be on the pitch. Mm. Uh, we're, we're trying to defend as a unit, we're pressing high, we're pressing quick. It's the quick, I say, the main thing for me is the quick passing football. Once, once you get that. It just makes it all, all so much faster and just a lot more quicker. Ball forward, down the line. That's just a foul. <laughs> yeah, it's a foul. Perhaps you just shoved him in the back. So all that's again about Pepe. Uh, my thoughts, no, no, thank you. Uh, 20 million. <laughs> I know, I just think, I just, I look at him, I just, I, don't get me wrong, I think there's another talented young man in there and I think he's still quite young. He's not that old anyway, but I just think someone was brought for 70 odd million pound and it hasn't worked out Arsenal. Do you really want an Arsenal cast off in some ways? Uh, and when you're talking about Luckman's available for 14 million, 14 million pounds for a player that knows the league, knows how we play now under Rodgers, hasn't got a time to settle in. We talk about a lot of other players. I know Pepe's playing in the Premier League, but they've been playing for different teams. Do you wish uh, you went now, Ross? Do you wish you went now? Just be careful that's up there, mate. One, that's one reason why I didn't go, because I just knew it was a bit it was gonna be a bit of a a damp one up there. Well, I think the atmosphere at the weekend will be good because by the sound of it, we haven't sold mate. We've got well, I think they've sold hmm, nine nine hundred for Preston for the weekend. They've apparently sold about nearly two thousand for Derby away at the weekend. There's only a couple of blocks left, I think. Fair why play. do you think? Why, why do you think it is that, that not many so, fans have gone to these sort of games? Because like last season, I went to like QPR and I didn't go to like uh, Plymouth. And, was it Plymouth? No, no Wickham. Sorry, I didn't go to that. But I went to See, QPR. Wickham was good. There's loads. Uh, I personally think money is hard to come by at the best times at the moment. We all know that with the recession. We all love Pats and Daka. Reed, you'll have to take over at half time. I'll just try and sort the little one out. It's playing up. That's fine. No worries, mate. I'll say, uh, I, I just want to see Daka shine this season. It's just. People have been down on him because of what happened last season. He just didn't get what, is, what people expected him to get. And now it just shows. Already, what, three goals in pre-season, which is good. Well, exactly, yeah. I mean, like I say, for me, I, I, I'll stick up for Dakar because I don't think he was given a fair chance at some times. And when, you, like I said, players coming on for 10 minutes here, five minutes there, that's not enough minutes in this game. You know, you, it's got to be better longer than that for a player to get any chance of getting his match rhythm yeah. or his ability in the Premier League. Five minutes here, eight minutes there, he's not going to give you know, someone who's trying to cut his mustard in the Premier League, the chance. Uh, we all know what Vardy can do. We've seen that. There's Vardy warming up. I think he'll be on at half time. And I think the thing we've I've always said, we should be using the likes of Vardy with Dakar and saying, you haven't got to be Jamie Vardy. We're not expecting you to be Vardy. You are your own player. What you can learn from Vardy is, though, maybe your technique of finishing. Your Go on, your Again, Leicester with the press really high up. You know, where, where they've got to be on the pitch, where you've got to be on the pitch, Duck, for this chance. If you want to, you know, get in the box. Go down about. Yeah, but play Daniel Abati. 
you know, where you got to be where, when chances are coming. We, we're building up from this situation. Where would you stand? Well, I'll be here. Well, if I was you, mate, I'd be four yards to the left, a bit further than that angle to make that angle better. This is what Vardy for me needs to be rubbing up, but rubbing off onto Dakar now and showing Dakar. I don't want what I don't think would be a good idea is Vardy trying to trying to get Dakar to be him because it won't work. They are similar players, but different personalities, different kind of gameplay in some ways. Leicester keeping the ball lovely here, by the way. Dennis Black drives past him and goes down. That'll be a free kick. Ross, yes, he is, mate. He's playing. I think he's he's. Don't I? I've not. I've never really like slated for uh, uh, Vestergaard for how he plays. Don't get me wrong. There's times when he got subbed on last season, and everyone's blamed him for doing the one thing wrong and stuff like that. But you can't, like you say, you're coming on in like the 70th minute, 20 minutes to go. Oh, no. Oh, don't do that, Ross. I don't like you anymore, Ross. Cool. Don't worry, I'll block him if he carries on. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all right. Actually, no, Three it's kicks. not. Tillemans to put it in. Headed over the... Cr- headed up. <laughs> goal kick. Uh, goal <laughs> kick. Isn't it? Uh, Pratt is quality. He needs to feature more if he stays. Problem is, mate, who do you, who do you drop? Because we saw last year Madison on fire. You can't drop Madison. Tillman's when he's playing well is another one you can't really drop. Meaning the only person he can come in for is either on the right hand channel, what Lutman was playing there last year, or or Brian, uh, or you are playing him as a defensive midfielder instead of Undidi. I mean, it's just a tough situation. You're you're forgetting someone as well. Oh, you can just say. Kieran and GSPL. And again, it's hard, mate. Where do you put them all in? Where do you fit that quad? This is what I mean, mate. Like I said before, when I was uh, on the boot room with Birch and the, in the pub the other week, having a pint and chatting about football, it was great, by the way, because Birch is a legend. And I've met Birch years and met him a few times, but having a pint with Birch and listening to him and his, his view on it. We don't need a 27-man squad we got. And then when they said to me, how many players do you need? And I said, if you can get rid of five to six and bring in two, that's a good window for me. Yeah, because that's that. Because the numbers you need. You, you, and that's, you, and that for me is where I bring in seven. someone like, that is where someone like, I'll bring someone like, <coughs> because I have all the positions we need. Yes, we again, we should have gone for Luckman, but I have all the positions we probably should have needed. The right mid slash right wing is a is a spot that we've never really replaced Morris for, so that's where. Oh no! No, we, positions we need to sign players. I think we maybe thought that's we signed. Gone. I thought we signed another Algerian wizard. He wasn't. <laughs> I think he had some tricks in his bag, but he was nowhere near. Ball in the box, all go down there. That's not even thinking of the oh, He just chucks himself to the floor there. <laughs> 40 minutes played, 5 minutes to half time. You going out or not? No? You oh, stay in here then. I would have Pepe, but Lee wouldn't have him over all Brighton, Perez or Luckman. Result I'd have over all Brighton and uh, Perez and all Brighton, but not probably Luckman. So I think you're talking about Pratt. And Tillum's rotating. Yeah, it's an option. But I think we've all seen, and I think Roger said before, the the way you get the best out of Tillemans is getting him running, running in consecutive games. And the more games he plays, the more he gets a rhythm into his game. I think we've seen when he's had an injury, it takes him three to four games to come back to where we've seen his levels at. Uh, all Brighton better coming off the bench. Yeah, completely agree with that now. I love all Brighton. And I think there's some games you're starting, depending who you're playing and what formation. But Oh, we always know when we play Liverpool, he'll start. <laughs> we always have the blind against Liverpool as well, so you can't really yeah. slate for it. Uh, but nowadays for me, I'd still keep it in the squad. I think I think there's games where you're 2 one up and you do need to see games out and you need his energy to come on and give everyone that. Good ball. ball around the corner. It's going to be too long. Just a bit long because then you can't keep it in. But this one was not seen for a long time. Leicester passing the ball around better. And this is still a team without Madison, Dewsbury Hall in it, Vardy in it. Like I said, I wasn't worried. If we don't sign a single player, when I'm hit, like, listening to Talk Sport this morning, they're saying, do you think Rodgers will be thinking of 
jumping ship because they have to sign anyone? Are they going to be in a relegation battle? This group of players will not be in a relegation battle next year. No, no. I, I, I've said, I said we've got the team we've got right now. Yes, other teams are improving. I still think we've got a good enough team as long as we don't get so many injuries or we still concede as many set pieces as last season. We, I, we, were, we were close enough to getting Europe already last season, and we had we had big issues still. So for me, if we have a full team that's barely getting injured, for me, we could easily goals, smash mate. it. 26 goals from set pieces last year. If you half that, that gives you the points. What would it, well, you don't need, if you quartered that and took away a quarter of those goals, that would have given you the points to finish in the yeah. playing football in the Europa Conference this season. Because we only, oh, Daka chased the goalie down, goalie clears it long. You know, that would have given us the points we needed. Simple as that, because you look at the two points we missed out on. Spurs. Well, we dropped Spurs would have been three. That, that basically it. But the West Ham game at home, there was two points dropped as well. Uh, we only got a point from that game. That was a massive one for me as well, the West Ham game, because I really felt we were going to get over the line. And lit, well, again, it was another. <sighs> uh, Bill says this team versus Derby Saturday. No, mate. I think the club have already said that the first. They'll team split it, aren't they? Well, I think it said the majority of the first team will go to Preston. So I presume that will be mainly the first team players. I think then you will see a mate, not makeshift. I think you'll see probably maybe Sionchu, maybe Vestergaard at Derby. I think Johnny Evans for final will go to Preston. Uh, I think you'll see the likes of Wright probably playing at Derby. I think you'll see a few of the Isabella playing there, a few of the younger kids playing in that game. I think the club already said that from the start. That you'll probably you'll probably see someone like Kalachi at Derby as well, and you'll have Daniel yeah. Card maybe at. Preston. Yeah, I think that's probably about right, mate. I think you'll see Casper probably go to Preston. Uh, Eves but got, I think, the, yeah, and Eveson will go to Derby squad. I think they said that from the start that uh, the Derby game was added in after more to give Derby some games. Uh, obviously, because they didn't know where they were in financial status, they even going to be here. So a lot of their games are just added in. Uh, and they basically said, look, we'll give you a team, but it ain't going to be the, like, the first team because we've already committed that. So I think when they sign pre seasons, agree that, you know, you, when you're saying, all right, Preston, we're playing you, but uh, what team are you going to bring? So, Because they want to know what team you're going to bring up to the Preston because of the workout they need. Obviously, if we suddenly went, oh, no, we're not going to bring that team out, they might be thinking, well, we'll play somewhere else and cancel that game. Perez looking lively. Well, he looked lively at the end of the season for me. He was one that was starting to shine again. Uh, again, again when, when, Perez, when Perez gets put in his right position for me, <coughs> he does work as well. Oh, mate, yeah, he's a number 10. Simple as that. He is a number 10. But sadly, most of the time, we've seen him stuck in the right wing. Yeah. yeah. And then you wonder why you don't perform well. Exactly, mate. It is coming up to half time whistle soon. Yeah, we are five. A little two out of time, four, Three, two, one. That would be. I'll be very surprised if we play any injury time in pre season. Ball goes long. And... Or if we still play, probably adding this. One minute. Time. Yeah, one minute of added time. We're 14 seconds into that already. Read will take you through to half, t- at half time. I will be back. I need to go and sort out invisible toddler. Enjoy. Mate, he was asleep. <laughs> I got him to sleep and then came out and thinking fine and Mr. said he's playing up again so I'm going to have to go and sort him out. It's all right. I have some back at uh, Preston then. No, he'll probably be at Derby. I'd be surprised if Casper didn't go to Prest, uh, to play at Preston. And that'll be our time. Really, I'll drop it out. Enjoy your no time. Sort of. Yep, no worries. Cheers. Right, boys. How are we? How are we doing that is 1-0 to Leicester City at half-time. Um, good performance from me at the moment. Uh, Perez doing well. Uh, Daka getting the goal, doing another, uh, taking another good shot and goal. For me, very good performance. And the passing really there has been pretty decent today as a Leicester City team. Um, Brennan Rogers right now is just talking to the team, telling them what, what's the plan for next next half. I'm guessing that they'll put a few of the other players in from the subs bench on a half time, maybe even the 60th minute, we don't know. But yeah, he's been doing well. 
Best the guy looks decent. Best I've seen him in the last kit. I think so. I've never, I've never really slated him with how he's played. He's been put, he's been put in a hard situation at most times that season, trying to just defend out games and doing other things like that. Yes, it's his job, but you, you can't really just come in out of nowhere, seventy minutes in the game, getting pressed on every two seconds. And expect to just completely dominate the game. Uh, lots of position, but not created many chances. I don't really think it really matters, Andrew. Um, yes, it matters if you want to score goals, but in pre-season, really, so you just want to get your confidence up and you want to get the passing up. And it's looking good. Again, one chance. We've had one chance pretty much, and it's gone in, which I really like. Good passing, brilliant for a change. It is, yeah. I've said that. It's, it's been brilliant. The passing's been outstanding. And I'm glad to see it because it does feel like the old Leicester again from a few a few seasons ago. Pratt has made a good game linking up play again. Yeah, that, that that it's it's about it's about putting all the players together and hopefully making an improvement to everything everything involved. Come on, you. Let's get you on a camera, shall we? Hello, here he is. Um, we should keep Pratt. He looks decent. Yep, I would do that as well. I should have not judged him last season. First season, he needed to more more than any time to shine. Hayden, are you talking about Vestergaard or Pratt? I'm not too sure. Like I say, for me, Vestergaard, I, I'd rather, I'd, I'd want to play him in the Premier League. People slate him for how slow he is, but again, he knows how to pass from the back. So why wouldn't you? You know what I mean? Um, I think he's, I think he's, he'll, he'll, he'll turn to a good player. I, I don't know there's obviously a reason why Var, um, why Leicester went for him. And uh, I think it's slowly showing now. You okay, mate? Let's say hello. Come on. Hello. <laughs> um, yes, that's the guy, yeah. I, I, I think he'll be a good player to come into the team next season. Yo, mate. This season coming, not next season. Daka looks like he's pressing more. Again, it's just about getting getting the confidence there. And with Dakar's second season now, I think he'll be a lot better. And he, he can't really... All he has to do is improve on last season. And last season was decent for me. You two going to pack it in fighting? Uh, Vestal is coming from possession, but can't push up too high. Exactly. And that's where I think that maybe the three at the back slash five at the back is a really good... Is a really good formation for the for him to play. Uh, do you have a skunk there? No, it's my dog. I've got two dogs. Obviously, there's one there as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, just watching through the adverts now. Then for half time, does anyone have any questions? Any thoughts on the game? People who keep Chris Wilder well, well, needs to stop. He's slowly getting back to his best. Yeah, exactly. Everyone like. But I bet you, the next game Vestergaard plays as a bad game, everyone will slay him. You've just got to give him the chance. Yes, he's not got too much pace. I'll tell you this now. Wes Morgan and Robert Hoof didn't have much pace either. They just stuck back and defended for their lives. Vestergaard is probably faster than a few of them. That's what I'm going to say. Um, I think we could get top four if we play well in our possession in the team and our passionate team. I think maybe two. I think maybe top four was a, a little tad too high with us not making a signing. Yes, I think we, it's still possible, but there's there's, there's been good things there. Shut up, you. <laughs> uh, Bodyguard deal seems to have fallen through. Yeah, I think that that was that, I think that fell through quite quickly. Um, right there, I'm gonna go right now. Uh, gorgeous little buggers. I know. Dougie, Ruben, there we go. Here's one. <laughs> hello, Ruben. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> Eat on me. <laughs> um, good boys. Um. I agree with you, really. Yeah. It's just about getting the best. Championship. 
I don't think so, Nick. I don't think so, mate. He's played in Southampton's back line for quite a few seasons. Um, and I don't think they've done too bad defending-wise. As you can see there, Casper's given some good team talk to Iverson for the next half. That, that's, that's, the, that's the good thing, though. Both Danish, both goalkeepers. I think Casper can teach Iverson a lot. At the time of Morgan and Wes, we didn't know how to play a high defensive line. That's why it worked. Yes. But that's where you've got the back end of someone like Fafana. Soon, too, if he stays. Both of them can kind of cover him for if we make mistakes. And we don't need to We don't need to make a high line. But the main thing with Vestergaard is he can play from the back. And that's Rodgers' biggest um, ability in in his tactics. He needs players to play from the back and that's where Fafana works. That's where for me Vestergaard works. And uh Vestergaard is playing against Hull. Quality run will just pass him. I don't think I don't think that that's true. If it makes a mistake then fair play, but uh Vestergaard needs to sit deep and defend him defend for him to work. Yeah. But that's what we'll do. He he could be. He doesn't need to always be sitting back. He he can defend as long as he doesn't make mistakes. And again, people say yes, he will make mistakes still. But Amati makes mistakes. Fafana does make mistakes. You can't be a perfect defender. Um, Danny Lee Wright says Perez is too many to be sold. Keep Pratt. I think Perez is a decent back in back in sub. Perez is. I think Tumari just didn't work for us. Still, maybe give him next season, but I just I think it might be time for him to just part a sea and go. You two need to behave. That's what you two need to do. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Everyone makes a mistake. And it's not all, like I say, it's not all about being perfect. Best of God there, doing signings and... Uh, putting he put in his pen to paper for the fans, like everyone likes to see. Harlan Kane Salah would tear Vestergaard to shreds. You never know. Like I, I probably do agree with you there, but either way, like you could say that for Evans. Evans plays most majority again games against them. We've done well with Evans, and I don't think Evans is too too fast. Again. It's just people being negative on Vestergaard for me. If he has lost, if he last man back, he will be a liability, mate. But again, who for me? If Evans is last man, yes, he's got yes, he's got experience, but I don't think is he's that faster than Vestergaard. We look like a, t- a team of a couple of seasons ago with passion, spirit, and like to see how we get more goals in the game. Yeah, again, we've only scored one goal. <laughs> you just got be on your bonnet about Evans, mate. No, I've honestly, when Evans came back from from um, from his injury last season, I thought he played well with Fafana. It's what we missed. I know what Evans. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, he's like, oh, I see him. He's on the interview. <laughs> oh, my best mate Evans. Look at him in the snow. <laughs> um, but yeah, he played well last season. After he came up from injury, don't you dare bite me. Um, <laughs> who scored? Daka, the main man. Daka, mate. Big man, Daka. Hello, you. You wanna come up? Up, oh, up. Oh. Good boy. Uh, uh. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the Brent, the Foxes not ha- have not lost against Brentford in not in since 1953. How many games 
have they gone and beaten against the bees? About ten, probably. KDH will rip through the hall's defence. Why is he coming on? This dog's getting annoying now. <laughs> Rayman. Rayman. <laughs> Yeah, Evans is a good player, and I think... I, ah! Evans is a good player, and I think he played well when he came back from injury last season. Yeah, he did. But before his injury, I don't think he did. I think he was a bit too slow on the ball, etc. Oi! Don't bite me! Um, how cute, I oh, know. He's not my dog, he's my sister's dog, but who cares? Hello! Uh, Evans looks like he's probably... Yes, he's coming on. Evans is coming on this half, I think. Um, what we're saying then, Vardy, Hattrick, second half, I will, probably wouldn't say that, no. I want Daka to get a hat-trick, if anything. So you really, even the pups don't agree with you about Vestigar, they will bite, they will put, they will bite the hands off them. <laughs> oh, there's Jack! <laughs> Jack with his Pringles! <laughs> <laughs> um, Casper is there, yeah. Wee! Right, you want to go down? Fucking! <laughs> you didn't want to go down quicker, did you? Oh. Oh, hello, he's back. On top, we're in bed. Oh, we're good then. Oh, I say we're in Vardy Hatch, Hatch second half. Yeah, I don't think that's the case. <coughs> yeah, yeah, Tore. Yeah, yeah, Tore. Kolo Tore. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. Kevin's is coming on this half. <coughs> There's Wright. I just knew that was See, there. Wright wasn't even on the list of players, mate. What he no. the whole city, uh, they, they, they gave the line out. So. I think there's more players there than we, we believe. We've just seen um Jack with his Pringles. <laughs> <laughs> um pe there's not many people in the uh, comments that are saying about how 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 much they like Vestigard. People are slating him again. But well, well, all opinions. Exactly, that's what football's about. Oh, so let me see if Ross wants to get him at the ground. Quickly, I don't know if he can or not. Oh, we have to crap sick a little bit. See if we can get him in before our time starts. <coughs> not with his dodgy broadband. Yeah, I see some Braybrooks there as well. So, I, I, yeah, there's more, definitely more players who are there tonight than what were on that substitute list. Because that sub list was literally like Madison Vardy, uh, Justin. You'll be all the main ones, yeah. Evans for Fada. And I was thinking, well, well, there's more than that. Oh, so after you left, I said that it's been, it's been a it's been a decent half. Obviously, we, I think we deserved it. And people are saying we're back. It feels like we're back to the the two seasons where we finished fifth, where it was just quick passing, and it felt like the old Leicester's back again. Really? What well, exactly? Uh, it amazes me. People say the run out last season. Look what happened. I predicted the same again. And Divi Rogers in charge. Oh God. <coughs> Look, you can understand that opinion of Jason though because the season wasn't good enough in some ways uh, as in like some performances but there were, I, I still adamantly that that was down to the amount of injuries that we had you, you can't rip out the heart <laughs> can't take you seriously when you got a dog looking at me <laughs> 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 Raven! 
You called your dog <laughs> Ruben Loftus Cheek. No, my sister's dog. She called it Ruben. Ruben Loftus Cheek. Go on then. Call him Ruben Loftus Cheek. See what he does. <laughs> Ruben Loftus Cheek. <laughs> <laughs> he kissed his cheek. <laughs> so it all. Uh, no I will not be impressed. <laughs> uh, While we're playing two games on the same day, we. Uh, we're scheduled in, and I think Derby, Derby came. Derby, in for Derby was came in for an extra game, and I think Brendan Warner break, start breaking that squad of players down to the ones that he's going to be using going into Seville at home, and then Brentford on the opening day. Uh, that's the only reason I do think that's the squads have been done like that. Great to see a lot of kids in there wearing by tonight for Leicester. Loads of kids in that 800 strong crowd. Seeing that. Uh, Ten Leicester, changes, God. Leicester broke up already for some holidays, haven't they? Sorry? Leicester broke up for some holidays already. Uh, I think they've already done that, yeah. I need to yeah, make changes to this. Oh, team. loads of Ten loads. changes. Oh, Ten changes. It's a different team, really. Other than, so, other than, other than the keeper, it's the same. It's, it's different, well, sorry. There's a lot more players than we thought were coming on, considering the lineup we saw at the beginning. Let me change it up quickly. <coughs> I will give you the team when I have it in front of me. So the time now is Everson in goal, Ricardo Pereira, Fafana, Evans and Justin, Rebecca Samari, James Justin, Jusby Hall, Albrighton, Vardy and Barnes. Sub still left on the bench. Uh, the goalkeeper, then Kelechi Nacho, <laughs> Sammy Braybrook and Callum Wright. Does he just not want to tell us at the start of the game that we had like another 10 subs? Uh, they must have used it. <laughs> so Leicester have completely changed it. Mr. Will Brighton gets his run out, as always. Anyone know what's going on with Tillemans? He's still a Leicester City player and he's still contracted to the club for one more year. And unless someone comes in and makes the value of the club, what's I think 30 to 40 million. Uh, Hayden Ruben Lotter's cheek. <laughs> uh, unless someone can make the value, then the club will not sell him and he'll see his contract out and leave on a Bosman next year unless he decides to sign a new contract or another year next, at some point soon. Uh, we'll kick off. Leicester kick him from right to left and we'll be kicking the uh, way of the fans behind the goal. The 800 Leicester fans have made the triple there tonight. So hopefully they get some goals. Ball in behind. Vardy on side. Shoots first time. Oh, drags it wide. He's offside anyway. Not see again. It was a snapshot by Vardy on his left foot. But again, the press was there straight away. The see how good the passing is this half at 10 men. Goalie placed the ball down. And it, Vardy's even town barns. Can we stand on the 18 yard box? Let him try and pass it out. I say, goalie, you've got to put it on these six yard box, mate. You can't just kick it anywhere. Now we're going to start again. All right, yeah, I've just... changed the team for ours. I don't know about theirs, but I've changed our team. <coughs> Goalkeeper goes long. Fafana wins his header straight away. Vardy, a little nudging about, but he's not going to mow Vardy on that. Barnes steps in. Free kick to Hall. So are we saying at the moment then with the team we've got out now, other than maybe Casper for the Iverson um, swap, is this maybe our pretty much full eleven? Mm, other, other than, maybe, than okay, maybe Samari as well. It's a tricky one, mate. I, 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 I'm really going to say it's a tricky one to look at that team and say is that the starting eleven is? Because Sammy would feel very hard than why not to be in that starting eleven on the opening day from his form last season. Uh, Simari could play because of it, but they're talking to my break through the lines. One, two, both past his man, keeps the ball, plays it wide to Barnes. Lovely play. Barnes will take a shot on his right and goal 2 0 to Leicester. Harvey Barnes. Good finish. One minute, 30 seconds. Let me just put in spot context though. This goal has come from one person and one person only. Bubakari Samari. What a <laughs> run, you What a run. A powerhouse of a run. Not skillful. No step overs, just pure power. He skipped past his man onto the into the inside of the box. He lays it out to Barnes just to make the overlap. It takes deflection off the knee of the defender and goes. I was going to say, I'm but wondering Samari, how that went in otherwise. Samari, a lovely little one too, and then he drives. He drives from in his own half to go past his man. Yeah, deflects off the man. Goalkeeper had no chance. 
for the back of Mari. Take a clap. And after 46 minutes, it's Hull City nil, Leicester City 2. Oh, this uh, two nil. Reed's done us proud. Told you. Two nil, awesome. Yeah, good play by so Mike. What did you make? <laughs> break? It was, it was good. Um, again, I don't know how from from the straight after the goal went in, I was like, how the hell has Barnes got that in? But obviously, it's yeah, it took a reflection. So, what, what do you think <coughs> of Barnes this season? Because obviously, last season, his stats showed that he, he had a, a, an okay season. But I think performance wise, I just don't think it was all there for him last season for me. I, maybe yeah. this season. Oh, he... was very frustrating to watch last year. Uh, I remember the Manchester City game. And it was like he was defeated before he even kicked yeah. the ball again. Knew that he was taking on Walker. Kyle Walker, yeah. And you could tell. The Barnes, what he'd seen previous year, was flying past people. He was going inside, he was going outside. You, he was unpredictable. And wingers that are unpredictable are the, probably the most dangerous to mark. Corner to kick, swung into the box. Leicester crying up the penalty. Farn mm. has gone down. Oh, oh no. No, I was going to the VAR then. <laughs> All brought one onto the back post. Looks at Johnny Evans, headed across the box. Comes out to the edge of the area. Falls to Juby Hall. He goes wide. Finds All Brighton. All Brighton finds Madison. Madison whips one in, headed it, and oh, it'll be a corner kick to, yeah, corner kick to Leicester. Yeah, you know, Barnes on his best is when he's unpredictable, and that's mm. going inside, going outside, chopping and changing, little step over here, nothing too dramatic with the skills, but doing his bit. Didn't see it enough last year. It was so obvious the amount of times he would just go to the bar line, go to the bar line, and then he would spend two or three times cutting inside, cutting inside. There wasn't the chopping and changing we've seen <coughs> as uh, Madison gives the left around the clap. Takes a quick corner. All Brighton chips well towards the back post. It'll be another goal uh, corner kick. Yeah, it, it, Barnes on his day when he's unpredictable, he's, he's very hard to play. But yes, his stats are there that he got goals and assists. But I think we all know Leicester fans, but he was very frustrating to watch. Mm. And I think, again, it was another one. He, he had that injury against Arsenal, weren't he, when the bone got stuck in his kneecap and finished his season otherwise at the time he was on a he was going to England yeah he was going to Euros he was the best left footed winger in the country again it just shows you that injuries can hamper progression because he hasn't come back the same player Madison, right, it's Madison. In the back post headed down goal Wesley for Farnes off the mark Leicester have two in the second half we've only played what is five. happening what is that are we watching Leicester <laughs> What a ball by uh, Madison, by the way. Madison chopped and changed, did the whole city defence for fun. Uh, and again, James Justin switched the ball out wide. A little knock down by All Brighton into the path. Madison, he takes a touch. He chops inside, chops back onto his right, clips it to the back post. Fafana out leaps his man and heads it in off the post. And after 50 minutes, he's now going to get silly to get. <laughs> don't, 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 it's not going to turn nil. It's just Jason's bald reaction. He's just standing there. I knew that would come. <laughs> uh, 3 0 Leicester. What we wanted again, be back with Smiley. Lovely link up playing the middle of the part. Little one twos. Juice ball down the right. Plays a little one two again. He'll give a foul here. Yeah, passing. Better passing by Leicester, though. Looking sharp. A lot sharper than I've seen for a long time. Yeah. I hope no one gets I'm not season. reading that comment out. I'm not even reading that comment out. I don't want to talk about that kind of stuff. Reading really obviously and realise what I've just meant. We don't need oh. Maguire. That's not the one below that one, basically, mate. Not a chance. Passing Why? the movement. What's I'm wrong not, with it? I'm not jinxing. Yeah. Like <laughs> no chance. Not a chance. We, we had um, uh, <laughs> our with injuries without mentioning them again. 
Oh, dear. I just realised, obviously, I saw this morning about the new Premier League ball being like the one with X's on it. We're using it now, but we're not in a Premier League match. Are we even allowed to do that? Uh, yeah, because it's only training. You've got to get used to it. I suppose of us did Hall. I suppose it was a group two Hall and Leicester. We could, so they can get used to the ball, mate. Because they're all different. We all know that when you get a new yeah. ball and it's different. Yeah, um, um, MJRS. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking how we're playing as well. It's, it feels like the old Leicester, the two seasons where we got fifth. Obviously, again, I feel like we did lose lose a bit of the passion. <coughs> Just a bit of just a bit of hot, the whole of Leicester. How now you used to how we used to play the, them two seasons last season, and now it can't it, already. It feels like we're just back to how we used to be. A hey, long way to go in pre season. Oh, yeah, all yeah, bring yeah. in uh, whole city offside free kick. Leicester will take it short. Ricardo, Bafana to Johnny Evans, who's really his favorite player. Uh, down the line, Justin just bombs forward, cuts inside. He's going now. He'll go wide. Barnes, but first time ball back to Jude Broad, back to Barnes. Look, oh, he took his half the ball. And that's where this thing with Barnes comes in. It's the sloppiness at times and mm. the concentration. You've only just come on, mate. You've played seven minutes of a game. And I can understand that happening to a player who's played 70, 80 minutes in pre season and took the half the ball. I can't excuse someone not letting the ball run under the foot when you've played seven minutes in the second half. And you've only just come on. Uh, Samari's looking much sharper. Yes, he is. Looks much fitter, mate. And that's the thing what people said last season, where the, so many players have not, didn't they didn't enjoy how they played, like Samari or Vestergaard or Daka. This, like, you've not seen him in training. Realistically, they could be the next big thing coming into next season. I always remember the words from Rodgers when we signed both of them and his words were, you won't see the best of Dakar or Samari until next season. Mm. They're going to have a season to bed in. Now, obviously, there was something more off, off with the Samari. I don't think it was so between Brendan and him. I think Brendan actually rates him as a player. Uh, I generally think he was he had a family problem. What we've talked about he was homesick a little bit. Maybe, you know, Brendan's given him time to sort that out. He's maybe got more family members over here now. You don't know. He looked from what I've seen though, pictures. Oh, Vardy will break it to the box. He'll keep this one in. Yep, he will. In the corner flag. Lazy back though. No book around. Experience there counts. Madison on the ball. Goes back to Jubilee Hall. Vardy's still staying on the left hand channel. They've got to come back. There's two flooded here. There we go. Leicester just move the ball right from left to right. Take the pressure off the area. Go to Ricardo. to play it around Albright back to Ricardo Albright goes down not going to get a free kick there why is he being, being on loaned out every time I've seen him pre-season he looks good homesick coming from not playing much well I think it's both mate for me I think this homesick was it's hard to tell mate wasn't it an excuse from the club just to give some pressure off him was he finding it difficult to adapt to the speed of the game I generally thought against Tottenham he actually had a good game one or two times he you know, was a bit slow Again, here he's challenging, he's not mucking around, he's doing his job, he's getting back. Put the ball out for a corner. <coughs> we need an Ian Rush as manager. And so, again, Samari wins the header in the box. Johnny Evans, all experienced there, doesn't dive in, bloke tries to mug him off, doesn't work. Here comes a set piece. And it was headed away. <laughs> Johnny Evans, he's your best mate. And Easton will claim that one. Good defending from the set pieces so far. I like, I like you say with uh, Casper, then I'm guessing he will be going straight to Preston now, then, because obviously he's not, I'm guessing he's not going to play him today. Nah. He's going to give Iverson a full run out for this well, game. I think he only came back on Monday, mate, so he's probably he's not up to speed fully yet. Different for goalkeepers as well. They don't need to be doing bleak tests and everything like that to get the fitness up. It's a lot different position. They're all about quick, sharp bursts of energy to come out and, you know, if they have to come out quickly. Madison gets the ball, looks for the switch, finds the switch, put a lot on it. <coughs> just to keep it in, yeah, he can. Fair play, Justin. There it was a sh bit of a heavy ball by it. Madison to him. They didn't do anything with it. 
not a lot of boys are looking slimmer. A lot, a lot of the boys are looking slimmer. I said that. No chips in this. Well, you just, but just make you wonder if Rogers has said, <coughs> if you don't come back fit and you don't come back, you know, it's X amount of body fat or anything like that, because they'll know their target. Then don't be expected that you're not, you're not going to be around the team. You know, they all look sharper. Tillman's is the fit of I've seen him. For, for oh yeah, time. I said I said in the in the chat that like, last season for me it was a lot more. I wouldn't say chubby, but it just seems a bit more. I, it I looks like he was kind of carrying weight. Yeah, now, and now, now this when you say when he was on the his Instagram picture is he was sharp as anything. Just to try to wait once the bat posing completely mucked it up. <laughs> but again, I like say, mate, the beginning of the season, who do you play your fullbacks? For me, I think my the... my main two is Justin and Ricardo. For me, again, it's harsh on someone like Castagna, but I think for me, Castagna, someone like Castagna is better as like a, a more of a wing back. And if we're playing for at the back, I think I think Ricardo and bloody hell. <sighs> <laughs> I thought I was going in. Um, yeah, I think Ricardo and Justin for me is the, the better full bucks. Samari's so just had an absolute rocket of a shot, and I thought that's going to bulge in that. Somehow the goalie's got his hand to it, and they must be stinging because he connected with that one. The ball fell to the edge of the area. He took one. Well, he he jumped, but he nicks the ball, and he just takes one touch, and he smashed it. Left footed, smashed it. Goalie somehow saved it. Fair play to the goalie there, because I thought that was in. Here goes. What was, the game, what was the game that Sumara did that against someone else? at the bar? I can't uh, the it was one of the group games, weren't it? Oh, I've got a feeling it was... Uh, it's the first game, I think, actually. Was it the one where All Brighton scored against Napoli? No, was it Napoli? No, it weren't Napoli. It was the... Ren game, where he absolutely blasted it. I think it was the Ren game. It was either Ren game or the when we played the Polish team. Who were the Polish team we played last year? Well, we lost uh, them, I think. Uh, Lesley Walsall. No, Lesley Walsall, weren't it? Yeah, that was it. We drew 1-1. I think we drew with them. But yeah, he hit the crossbar, yeah. And he, a thunder of a shot. Again, all the plays coming through the Bakri. Just an edge of the area. Can Moscow, he do what he did with the Oh, Moscow, was it, wasn't it? Moscow, sorry. Yeah, that's, when Vardy, that's when Vardy missed the penalty. Oh, that was a nasty tackle on Madders there. He's taken one on the knee. Moscow, Moscow. Everyone, everyone in the comments is saying about Prats to stay. Oh, mate, I just, I'd love him to stay, but is he going to be happy at playing a bit part oh, player? He made it quite clear he wants to play. Well, the, you got to promise, mate. You got a lot of players who want to play because the World Cup coming up. They want to be involved in the World Cup. Set piece just outside the. 18 yard box, Wall Madison scores for a piece of the pre season. Just, just to the uh, right hand side of the goal. You're in front of me, you must be by a few seconds. Maybe I'll go back a tiny bit. Because Madison's only about to kick it mm, now. It was close. I'll give him that. It was close. It's because I'm probably watching, I'm watching it through my Skybox, though, mate, because I've got YouTube on oh, that. Okay. Are you watching it through the internet? No, yeah, I am, but I'm also I'm still on YouTube. I thought I was, I was in about the same as you. <laughs> yeah, I've got it on the Skybox because you get YouTube on that. Yeah, Madison up and over the wall. Good test, though. Not far. Goalkeeper didn't even move, so if he gets it on target, he probably goes in. Mm. Hull City trying to like to play out from the bat. I'll give him the dues. They are liking the playing out from the bat, but. The press from last day again. Look, Madders, Vardy. I'd be a throw to Hall, but the press again though for Vardy and Madison there, spot on. Same again. Leicester put in and Johnny Evans' experience clears up. That's a bit of a shocking pass by Barnes. See, that's a good question. Who would you start, Pratt or Tillemans? I don't know because I've said previously when when he was when Tillemans was 
very hard, very closely linked to Arsenal and whatnot. I did say at the time I didn't want to see Yuri in a shirt again because of he didn't really perform last season. Maybe that was because of he, he was carrying away. I don't know. Maybe because he was in that DM spot more and he just didn't really sue that spot. But if he does perform better this season, then yes, I'd obviously have Tillemans. But I think on your day you picked Tillemans over man, uh, pit Tillemans over Pratt. But I think you know, for me, Pratt on his day is another all bright, and he's another seven out of ten. He'll give you the odd eight, but you know what you're going to get with him. You're going to get graft. You're going to get a little bit of vision. You're going to get the tacking ability. Uh, but you probably lose that little bit of the X factor, that final spark when you might just get that little bit. You know that flare ball, what could win you a game for me with Tillemans, mm. and that's probably what just gives him the edge. Like I said, mate, playing that little bit deeper doesn't help his comfort him out in some ways. But when he plays with Ndidi, it does because Ndidi does the work what he needs to and do. He and can means, step up, yeah. It goes a bit higher. Again, Samari doing the basics really well so far. Leicester just knocking it around. Gibral in the hall half. Well, I'd say it's three nil, three nil, sixty fifth minutes in. It, it, it's looking good. Again, it's uh, for what a third year of preseason, so it's not you can't really take too much from it. But people were saying, people were saying at half time that we didn't make too many chances. Yet within ten minutes of second half, we've scored well, two within, goals already. Within five minutes or four, six minutes, we're two nil up. Tom and Hyde. Hi, Tom. Hello, How are man. You? How are you, mate? You're right. Go kick to Hall. Keep doesn't know what he's doing. No, he didn't come back to Monday. <laughs> Johnny Evans, just, just Johnny Evans, basic. Barnes, better from Barnes. That's going to be a free kick. Skin this man, turn and went and running. He just pushed him to the ground. See, that's what Barnes got to do. He's got to be more making things happen for me this season. He wants to play week in, week out and not get Brendan Amber. Vardy. 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 Oh, oh, just Ooh, Vardy behind. It just went under his studs. If he gets his studs on it, it would have popped up lovely for him to get the strike away. Obviously, Madison was the one who made the, the ball to him. It was a lovely run by Vardy. The fan had no clue where he'd gone. I think maybe as well you were saying about Vardy not playing. Oh, just not enough there. Uh, yeah, with Vardy not maybe playing as many games this season as everyone would probably think. It might be good for him to come off the bench a lot of times as well. Because, like, say, against someone like Burnley last season, he didn't look any, anywhere near winning the game. And then he came on and got both assists and a goal in the game. So, exactly. maybe Vardy's that sort of player to really push for. A lot of people talked about how many years Vardy left. Obviously, he got one year left. He wants longer. Ball to ball back post. Vardy shoot all oh, over the crossbar. Hard chance, very hard chance, but lovely ball. And uh, Vardy, in Vardy fashion, pulled away from his man. Brendan's clapping. He's happy with that bit of play. It's a lovely ball by Albright towards the back post. He just classic Albright. <laughs> yeah, ball to back post for Albright. I've said that many times. And Vardy just pulled away from his man and uh, left footed volley. Just couldn't get over it. It was just drifting away too much. But a uh, body lads a laugh with the whole crowd who oh, laid him for putting it into the stand. Again, Hall playing from the back, making a mess of it. Let's lose it then. Can't get it. Switch of play. Forest for life. I wish I was a Flester fan. I bet you do. Sorry, you got Jesse Lingard coming to you for like 180,000 a week. <laughs> Don't worry about getting bankrupt when he goes down. Uh, Who's down? The farmer's down. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hoping it's just a nick, but he's, <laughs> he's holding the back of his Achilles. He's not happy, Wesley, there. Yeah, Wesley went over and uh, knocked it out of play. Oh, 
there were two, a couple of nasty tackles coming there. I thought, oh no. Please, <laughs> please don't be. <laughs> this ain't gonna be in a wall, is it? <laughs> nah, I don't think so, mate. I think they're just being precaution with him. <laughs> I've taken his boot off. See what, Johnny isn't happy about these two challenges, mate. Mm. The first one was naughty because he dived off the floor there and Wesley skipped round him, what made him... I think stumble a little bit and then the second challenge came on he actually nicks at his heel again I mean for fun he's put his boot, his boot back, back on so that's how this just uh, yeah again could understand the frustration you know it's pre-season you don't want to see people diving in off the floor we saw what happened last year with Wes, you know, obviously Johnny and that lot going to be protective of him. He's a young man, he's just come back after a long period out. Oh, they're making a few signings. No, not signings, for you subs. We've got signings on the brain. Uh. Nineteen for twenty-two. <laughs> Don't know who it is. Ain't got on his back. <coughs> yeah, I know. It does throw you when they don't put names on the backs. <laughs> it was like, who is this? <laughs> Liam, someone tell me why. Why is, I don't agree with that. Sorry. Why is someone made a profile up of that person? Yeah, I, I just I, I was I was curious on that. I'm getting rid of that one, mate. No chance. That's not disrespectful. Leave him alone. Oh, yeah. Thank God, seem to be okay. Seriously, not again. No, it seems all right. It seems to be jogging around. Looks a bit ginger, but we'll take that. I thought Ruff was going to get free kick then. Uh, Hall come forward. Yeah, he, he seems to be all right, don't he? Uh, yeah. I was scared then. Leicester just... Oh, how easy did he throw himself to the ground then? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Madison's laughing at him. That the, the, they Hall's got a player called Seri. I'm I, I'm I'm sure he's a player that played for Fulham that year when they came up. And he is quite a decent player. I'm just, I'm shocked he's at somewhere like here now. Oh. Hey up. Hey up. That's where he is. Hey up. What do you reckon? Um, I, I've got no one now anymore. When I'm in the airport, it all went off. <laughs> What do you reckon to the game, Ross? Is it a good game yeah. from what we're looking at? It's been decent. So that again, yeah, pretty, pretty decent, you know. Not bad. Atmosphere's improved in second half. <laughs> kind of. It's about that second yeah, they, they've had that second Coca-Cola, should I say. Yes, Coca-Cola. Yeah, Coca-Cola. <laughs> not, not that other one, yeah. They're, they're having their <coughs> day out. They're having their day out, bless them. So... Yeah, we're playing really well so far. Forrest has gone off injured. Honestly, he's back up it. I thought he went off injured. <laughs> oh, skillage. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm slightly ahead of you, aren't I? Because obviously you're a bit delayed. <laughs> hey, what, what's going on, Jeff? Who's <laughs> <laughs> just heads off, Jeff? Has he scored? My dad's Have we scored, Jeff? Yeah. I'll tell my dad to put you. He's been tuning in, you know. So that, the game's that great, he's been tuning in. 
Uh, the Fafana goes down again. Let's win the ball back. Who's that round, Reedy? Who's that round, Reedy? Someone, someone that knows you here, Reedy. Go on. That, what's your name? Matt. Matt is called. Oh, I know him. Oh, you know him. Say <laughs> hello, go on. Hello. Hello. Yeah, tell me a lot about you. Yeah, it goes on my bus. Nothing you don't know already. No, yeah, yeah, nothing I don't know already. <laughs> oh, can you read it? I hope yeah, I hope the score while we're on here, that'd be quite that'd be quite fun. Well, don't don't spoil it for us, yeah? Pardon? Don't try and spoil it for us. I won't, but it'll be a bit hard when they're like the cheering, it's a bit hard. <laughs> Oh dear, mate. All, all, all the old fans are giving, having their day out, giving parties. There we go. Come on, look at <laughs> what they said. Oh dear. This could be a goal here. Oh no, now it's happening. No. Oh, no, what no. is it? i tell you what, though. Come on, it's not we're going to play really well. <laughs> oh. Wow. It's uh. gone. <laughs> That's there for the error. Oh. Madison the ball. Is this Obviously, the one that he says about? Yeah, it is. Ricardo tries a little chop. Can't go past the man. Comes to Samari again. Goes wide. I like look basics from Samari there. Keeping it well. Real close, apparently. Oh, Brighton skips. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's, he's ruined it. 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 Oh, dear. Has he, though? No. No. He's winding you up, mate. No. <laughs> Uh, Andrew, the score is on that though, that corner, but really, there we go, 3-0 to the Foxes. Bye, Ross. Bye. Patty buys. <laughs> oh, dear. Ross is living it up in a hole. Hold on, <laughs> see. I thought it's Hull from uh, Leicester, anyway. Uh, about two and a half hours. On yeah, a good I'm glad run. I didn't go. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't go. <laughs> yeah, it's a long, it can be a long trip. Great trackle by Wes. Yeah. Here he is. Our American correspondent. <laughs> Seen a few videos of you recently now enjoying the holy happy water. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Actually, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. But again, look at the press here. Leicester have a throw and they're actually running to get the ball. Barnes oh, breaks it to the edge there. It'll be a... Corner? Oh, I'm I mean, what could Hall take out of this tonight? You've come up against a Premiership team. First off, they did all right, but they haven't really created that much. What, are they? Know, what, level, are, what level is Hall? Is it the League One or is it Championship? No, championship is the first... Uh, cramp of the night and it's come to the hall player he's uh, gone down he's waving for someone to come and hold his leg up because he's got cramp yeah you were talking about Siri. yeah i'm sure he was at fulham by the way when they came up and spent that 180 million to get relegated again it's what i mean you spend all the money and get promoted but it doesn't mean anything in the premier league and that's where people are saying that forest are doing well with signing so honestly it, it could all be the same as what fulham did because they are making good stuff <laughs> they're making decent signings but They've made some good signings, but they've not moved, made to me any Premiership proven signings. Mm. You know, they're when just they're building, about, they're, they're, they're adding to what they've got. What's good? Oh, when the ball back pulls it back. Oh, oh. Uh, you know what's good? You've got to build that squad up. I accept that, and you got to get rid of some of the players like they've done. Joe Lolly, I think, is going. <laughs> uh, they've got rid of uh, Graben because he didn't want to stay and be a big part. Pray when he played properly. Before they come to Mari, turns his man, turns again, goes down, no free kick given. <laughs> <Tough the ball. coughs> but if you want to be, you know, staying up, yeah, you gotta, for me, you've got to sign players that have sort of played in it. 
Now, Leicester mucked up a few years ago. I remember it. We signed what, Les Ferdinand. We signed Ben Thatcher. Uh, we signed Nikos Davizas. Uh, we signed all these players who play in the Premier League, but they were all on their last legs. Steve Howey from Newcastle. We signed so many players, but they were just gone. They weren't anything going to offer them what we needed. Fulham came up the other year, 180 million spent on foreign players, didn't do anything. It's like, for me, like looking looking into the Newcastle team they had last season when they were looking like they were going to go down. They brought likes of Dan Burn in, they brought the likes of Target in. They brought players that know what they needed to do to get the job done. And yeah. they, did, they did a lot better than what they thought they would do with it. And I look at, you know, when I'm looking at Forest and they're being linked with two Huddersfield players. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong, the two players they're linked with, Harry Topolo and uh, O'Neill. Is it O'Neill or O'Brien? They've, sorry. they've been they've been announced, today. they? Yeah, O'Brien. They're championship players. They've not had any pro time proven in the premiership. Tell me that they add to your squad as in, oh, well, they've got premiership experience. They're going to come in and do the job. They're going to help the lads around. They're not. They're, they're, they're the same as any player who was at Forest last year in the championship. You know, yeah. I don't see them as a strengthen. Don't get me wrong, I think the goal to game ratio for Harry Topolo was phenomenal for a left back last year. Uh, he was flying for them in the cha- uh, in the championship for this field. Uh, same with O'Brien, a box to box midfielder, does the dirty work. But, you know, it's one of those. If you want to stay up, you've got to be buying the players that you know will do the job for you. And you're, you're kind of risking your hopes on players coming from the championship to win. I've told my missus she's a lifetime Forest fan. Fair play. <laughs> Be honest with them, mate. Don't give her false hopes. My sister, my sister's a Forest fan. I've said to her, she thinks she's, they're going to do well. I've said to her that it's no easy fight. Don't get me wrong, you will get them, them decent results against a big team that the likes of Brentford did last season when they beat Chelsea 4-1 and things like that. But you're going to be struggling against teams like like the the, the lower league, the lower sides, like, like Southampton. Yeah, I mean, for me, this season, this is where Rogers has got to do the business against these lower clubs because they were the teams that we were struggling against. Is this Thomas Elder? Is it Elder? That used to play for us? Callum Elder, yeah. Callum Elder, he's been at Hall now for a couple of years. He's coming on. Yep. Four Leicester players to the field. Callum Elder, left back. Uh, Didn't think he played many games to the club, maybe one or two in a cup games, but uh, he has now come on for Hall. Was their regular left back most of last season as well. Uh, went to them when they're in League One and got promoted with them. And then obviously, ball round like the corner. Very, oh, very. Oh, no. That's not like Leicester. Do you think conventional? Leicester again. Um, press, what were you ball saying round. again? Sorry, with the. Uh, Elder, yeah, played a lot in League One for them. Then came into the championship and they stayed up. He was part of the team. I think played 20 odd games last season. So. Experienced enough in the championship now for him, and good to see him, you know, getting game time. The uh, Australian ball inside to Samari on the halfway line, straight away switch it. What a ball by Samari out to the wing! Can't can he keep it in all Brighton? Yeah, of course he can. Let me can't run back on a kick. Breaking news: When Forest play Man City, it will be another Southampton <laughs> <seven to score. laughs> Phil, Phil Don't get on. I'll say yes, yeah, yeah. He thinks it'll be they'll be above us before within five games. Interesting. I, I still think they'll I still think Forest will get the one of them good performances like they have like 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 maybe like an Arsenal or against one of the big six they will get one of them good wins that most teams do. Yeah, but, there's always that shock in there that one of the team comes up and gives one of the big boys a bit of a turnover. And then gets relegated. Uh, Norwich did it a few years ago, didn't they? They beat Manchester City. Manchester, yeah. Yeah. Three one, I think. Yeah. Can happen. I say I'm not saying that Forest definitely will go down. I just think it's going to be. I think any team that comes up now, unless you buy in the right areas and strengthen the squads right, it's more and more difficult because the teams up there always are going to have that advantage on being there for a few more years. Uh, Cash flow is a lot better as always for being in the Premier League for a few seasons, but. You always see what can happen if things are managed right. Look at Hall, uh, not Hall. Look at uh, Burnley. Didn't sign any quality. Carried on with the same team for two, three years. They cost them, yeah. Yeah, it cost them in the end because they had 
but didn't buy enough to stay in the league. Tomorrow, I think, to I think the tough, there's been the tough one for this season coming into it is Bournemouth for me. I don't think I've, I've not heard of many signings for them, and I just, I just, nothing wrong. They, I think they they could stay up, but I just don't think they've got the quality in that team now, especially with Eddie Howe gone as well. Be an interesting one for Scott Parker. You know, he did well at Fulham. I think he got Fulham promoted, didn't he? Then they got relegated and he left. Obviously went to Bournemouth, got Bournemouth promoted. So, you know, it's his first full season in the Premier League because I know he managed Fulham at, against Leicester when we beat them 3-1. Vardy scored, I think it was his 100th league goal or something stupid at the time. Uh, so it'll be interesting how he gets on in the Premier League. Do you think Holland will get the golden boot? For sh- or Madison shoots goal! 4-0. Madison <laughs> Finish. He's a lovely finish, mate. Hall could not cope with him. And after 83 minutes, it's Hall City nil, Leicester City four. Yeah, Dewsbury picks the ball up, middle of the part, slides it into Madison. He skips put around his man, lovely skill, oh. knocks past his next man, oh. and then he rolls it in the bottom corner. Fair lovely one, Madison. Great feet, by the way. That turn and to take out his man. Oh, oh God, and then nice. takes out the next man. That was lovely. Well, I would say, Hulse City nil, Leicester City four. <laughs> really better get working because there's not a five nil on the uh, system. Wow. I should say there's not in another goal in six minutes then. <laughs> um, going back to that question then, do you think Harlan will get the golden boot? I, I'm a big fan of him. I'm glad he's coming to the Premier League because he obviously knows it's probably one of the best leagues in the in the world. But you never know. Every every big player has an off season for me, and I think yes, he could. I think you'll get probably 15 to 20 goals easily, but. It just depends if he can hit the highest again. That twenty, probably the twenty-five mark. Yeah, I mean, like you say, mate, it's a tricky one. It is a tricky one because it's coming from the Bundesliga again, and not it's a good league, but it is in the Premier League, and we all know the Premier League is the hardest league in the world. I was gutted, mate, that we never got to see, uh, or we haven't got to see, Robin Lewandowski, who's now gone to mm. Barcelona. I was gutted he's not good to the Premier League, or I'd love to see how he got on. Scored so many goals in different leagues. I'd love to know if he'd come to the Premiership. If he <laughs> I'd take that, mate. I'd take that easily. <laughs> that That's next comment. Oh, I would take that every day of the week. That would shut Philip, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, it'd be worth a bet. It'd be an interesting yeah. one. Leicester just playing out. Everson, don't look around. Oh, oh, oh. goal kick. Oh. Yeah, got lucky there. <laughs> Could have been 4 1. As the Hall fans start drifting away, they've had their party. They've had the day out and it's not gone well. Yeah, Danny Wilson was uh, umming an arm with the ball at bat and then went to clear it and kicked it straight into the uh, strike who it pinged off and went out for a goal kick. It could have gone anywhere. Body gets a header. We're seeing, going back to that, then, we are seeing there's a lot more of the bigger and the better players in the in the world are coming to the Premier League. Yeah, like you say, the Lewandowski didn't come, but Haaland's come, Ronaldo's come back. Maybe we'll see Mbappe one day come into the Premier League. You never know. He's still, like, still very young. But it's just nice to see a lot of the the better talent now finally come into one of the best league in the world, which is good to see. Yeah, I mean, like you say, for me, like the Ronaldo one was an interesting one because I remember around at Ronaldo when he first came to Man United. That's got to be a free kick referee. <coughs> I think there might be a book in it because that was really naughty. Yeah, great play by Barnes. He turned his man on the halfway line and just ran. And then there was two nicks. Two nicks in there. Referee tried to play the advantage because the ball broke to uh, Kieran Dewsby all, but he couldn't get it under control. <sighs> will, it, will we make it five? Will it kill my graphics over? 
the one game I've done it for all the graphics and he just hasn't enough. <laughs> Madison to whip this one in and over the crossbar. We're safe. Uh, Barnes chopped. Yeah. Yeah, Hull City are just taking the time now. <laughs> the fans don't want to give the ball back. <laughs> don't blame them either. We're just not giving the ball back. <laughs> I suppose they don't won't get a Premiership football for a few years, so they're probably trying to keep it. <laughs> we are singing, "Come on, come to watch Leicester." You only come to watch Leicester, of course you are. Ball back in play. Samari wins another header in the middle of the park. Fair play to him, mate. Leicester keep the ball. All oh, Brian. Oh, I can't get it to Vardy. He nearly did as well. And if he does, Vardy's turning, going through on goal. Damn right, right. Here's, here's a question for you then, Tom. From both different teams, obviously Iverson uh, not included. Who's your two man of the matches for both halves? I'm going to give it to Samari for the second half. I generally think he's been solid. I generally think confidence-wise, he must be happy with that performance. Again, ball comes to him. He's passing it around. Looks a lot more composed on the ball than we've seen him all over the year. Uh, first half, I'll give you Cassania. I generally thought Cassania was very good. A lot of time getting in behind their back line. A lot of runs made. A lot of clever runs made. So, yeah, Cassania in the first half, and I'll give Samara in the second half. Easy. It could be easy to give it to a goal scorer. But I generally think their performance levels were very good again today. And, Dennis Pratt was probably up there again. I thought he had another solid half. Can't fault him, but yeah, Cassani for me and uh, Samari. Yeah. Again, as we talk about it, ball falls to his feet. Just look at him, he just looks so much composed on the ball than we've seen yeah. most times. Yeah. But he makes the run then. What's drifted two men out of it? Paul plays in Barnes down the left hand side. Don't you dare score again. Pulls it back to. Oh, he's pulling it back to Madders. He can't go on the end of it. <laughs> you see what well, that's just weird. <laughs> what was it? There, um, it says live scenes in the tunnel. They're just engraving our name onto the cup. <laughs> well, they starts to whistle full time, and um, it's four 0 to Leicester against Hull, which is very good to hear. First win in pre-season after two pretty, I'd say, average performances in the last two uh, pre-season games. So it's very good to see in our third pre-season match to have quite a clear 4-0 win. Oh, the thing is, mate, like I said to you, goals, clean sheets, confidence builders. Best I've seen is move the football around here a long time. And I know it's yeah. against a championship team. And I know they're probably the same, probably say where we are in our pre-season build up probably so many weeks in training but it's nice to see us moving the football around passing it getting the goals getting the fitness levels back up two different teams again probably ramps up at the weekend and the lads will start getting more fitness in there uh it'll be an interesting situation going into saturday to see who goes where don't see vardy going to derby sadly no <laughs> sadly Sadly, but they're really yeah. not there anymore anyway, so it makes no difference. So, as Fafana walks up to the 800 Leicester fans who made the trip up to North to give him a clap. Fair oh. play to him. Oh, there's going to be a presentation as well for the. Oh, God. God. Oh, who's coming? To, who's the captain there? Evans? <laughs> Casper will get rolled out, won't he? <laughs> We'll probably bring Wes Morgan at this rate. As Leicester, what are they going to show him? They just put an advert on, of course they have. Amazing Thailand. Uh, Leicester, well, like I say, mate, it's a cup, it's a win, it's <laughs> silver. We've got an, more than Tottenham's won this season. Uh, yes. <coughs> champions. Oh, <there> <laughs> Barnes just being Barnes, he came, uh, can make the most. In, I'm, I'm interested in that point. Barnes just being Barnes, he can make the most bad decisions over and over and over. Does he ever learn? 
this is where it's a big season for him, really, because he's got to start showing consistency in his game. Really has. Uh, Dave and he, says, he's not. I think he's not exactly young as well, is he? Now people are saying he's still young. He's, he's 23, 24 now, isn't he? So exactly. he's got to be. He's going to his peak now. Samari did well. They've always said your prime is from like 25, 26 all the way up to 30. That's your prime years. Samari did look quality and control for once. Like seeing his progression, definitely. Uh, Champions for final injury. No, look fine at the end. Don't think it'll be a problem there. Samari's been solid, but but my manager Maps Madison. Don't blame mate. Set a goal, scored a goal as well. I'm just looking at players, how much they've progressed from last season. And to me, Samari looked a lot more confident today than I've seen him in previous yeah. games. And even when he played well, he still looked very jutty on the ball. Uh, Dak is going to take away the job. Ooh. I would just see if we lift a trophy now, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Get everyone done with. Obviously, Reedy will have his show coming back on a Friday night. Seeing Reedy, are you starting soon or are you having a f another week off? Uh, I think, I think, I mean, obviously, I'm taking over the Phil show for the last few weeks. Obviously, I didn't do that one from where Monday because it was just absolutely roasting. Um, but nice. yeah, ho hopefully, maybe the next week or two, I'll start back up on my shows. Obviously, we'll have all of the other shows as well. The Away Fan Show. Obviously, mainly going to be you in charge of that. Um, and I'll give credit to Jamie because he is working blinders uh, to get people on the show already. He's already got the Blackburn Cup. We've got Chelsea Fancast for the Chelsea game. United Stands are booked in. Uh, Saints Podcast are already booked in as well. Jamie's favourite <laughs> former tonight's presenter and talk sport correspondent. Uh, Natalie Sawyers will be joining me this time, I think, by the sound of it. Jamie, Jamie's going to be a bit jealous on that one, I think. Uh, but, Tay, hey, can't have it all, Jamie. You've got to share and care. Uh, but, yeah, we've got a lot booked in for the way fan shows or the fan shows for opposition fans. And, as we always say, if you want to join us, more than welcome when we get going in the season. Come and join us. As we say, it's for the fans, by the fans. We want new faces on it. You don't want to keep seeing my mug and Jamie. <laughs> on every single week. We're more than happy to have more people on there. Phil wants to grow the channel. As we say, Brentford game at home will be down around the ground. Come and say hello. We're all friendly. I know Jamie looks miserable sometimes and he has a bit of a bad day. Most not because of Johnny <laughs> Evans. But hey, come and say hello. We're all friendly people. We're not we're not one of these like we're not Arsenal fan team. We're not here to have up. We we don't want fights. We can't deal with that full time. I know it's full time that when ages ago last time. Come on, keep up with your tweet. Oh, the, the the ground has changed now. I honestly thought it still was the Dom Stadium, but it's not. It's the MKM Stadium now. MK Dons. Yeah, I know. Oh, are we coming back to the the trophy lift now? Yes, we are. Live seeing Leicester City win a historic trophy. All the Hall fans have already gone. Yeah, I was going to say, there's none of them left in the ground. <laughs> as they present some stuff, and Matt Elliott's there as well. Legend. Love Matty Elliott. Likes a beer. Look at all the fans waiting for this trophy to be lifted. <laughs> They're all gone. All the, all, all are not bothered about the trophy. All the players <laughs> as well. I don't think there's left, is there? No. Well, Burton lost their trophy at the weekend, didn't they? They lost it to Birmingham City. Birmingham won the trophy, we, we should have won. And we we lost on purpose to penalties. Yeah. I'll keep saying that. Oh, dear. Are they going to show us or is that it? No, I think that might be it. I don't think there's anyone left in the ground to lift it to. <laughs> literally, like, the ground is literally bar a few fans on the far side. This is going to be so cringe if we do go and lift the trophy. <laughs> doing a bit of a, Wait, what? Run, no, doing a run, no. Doing a run down, mate. That's what they're doing. Oh, I thought they were going to the fans then. Oh, I thought they were going to the <laughs> No, it's just a wall now, mate. They're just doing it from 18 yard to 18 yard line by the looks of it, the players. So oh. the team we've just uh, finished are literally sprinting end to end. Says it all. 
commitment there to do that after you just play 45 minutes. I know, really, I'm shattered, mate. No, no. I think we'll call it a night, mate. All right, no worries, that's fine. Well, we've won the trophy me. anyway. We all, we've all, we've we've all know we've won the trophy. Uh, from me, from Jamie, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a bit of a laugh tonight. Not taking it serious, eh? You can't take these watch on series for pre seasons. I'm just going, uh, it wasn't 5 0. As, exactly, the wife <laughs> And uh, Phil would not have been very happy in the morning when he gets into work. But no, so thanks for joining us. As always, keep it less fan TV for the latest news. If something happens, we will go live in the transfer market. If. If. if just. <laughs> if. I'm not saying something's going to happen. If something happens, we will go live and we will debate it on your channel. Because as we say, we're for the fans, by the fans. As always, thank you to our sponsors. Without them, we can't do this kind of stuff. They keep us going. We keep reading with his nice haircuts and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just finish a note, mate. But no, thanks for joining us. We will catch you soon. Obviously, pre-season continues on Saturday. I will try and do some videos at Preston away. I think Jamie's staying at home and watching stuff on the telly again, are you? Mr. Um, maybe I might. I might do a watch along if, if, if that's the case. I don't know. You do. you we'll do, then. got two back-to-back, one, one o'clock and three o'clock. So if you want to join Reedy, put it in there. We'll put a vote on the channel, see so who wants to do a watch along. But for now, keep it on see Leicester Fan TV and we'll catch you soon. Cheers. Good night. Cheers. Thanks for watching Leicester Fan TV. Thanks to our sponsors, ADT Taxis, Everards, Pucka Pies, Pink Car Leasing, Leicester Riders, Hologram, The Fox's Arms, Peter's Pizzeria, Hope Against Cancer, and Newbie and Co Estate Agents. Make sure to follow us on all of our social channels at Leicester Fan TV. Visit our website, LeicesterFanTV.com.